All right, my friends, we're back here at San Francisco CrossFit. We're talking about muscle-ups and not any muscle-up. We're talking about the kipping muscle-up, and it's something you see in CrossFit a lot. And before we even get into it, what I really want to do is I just want to talk about what it looks like to hang from the rings and then to swing on the rings. When we perform kipping muscle-ups, you don't need a massive swing, but you do need a couple of things to uh, make sure that your performance is optimal and up to par. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to chalk up for good measure. So a little bit of chalk, just for good measure. When we hang from the rings, the first thing you want to think about is getting the pinky knuckle over the ring. Here. And hang. Notice what happens here. When I hang in this position, if I get my pinky knuckle over that ring, just like when we were hanging from the bar in the previous videos talking about pull-ups, we're going to get a way better grip. Do I have to false grip? No. Do I hang like a little baby, just hanging with my little fingers? No, I grab it like a man, okay? So really tight, really strong. Now, once you got that, your wrist is just gonna be in a neutral position. Your elbow is gonna be locked out, and then your shoulders, I don't want them down. I want them up a little bit. Not completely relaxed, but active enough. Remember when we were hanging on the straight bar, one thing that we were talking about is creating that rotation in the shoulder for stability. How do you do that on the rings? Well, the rings move around, so it's a little harder, but if your grip is strong and you have that pinky knuckle over the ring, as you hang, automatically the shoulder is set. Now, we're gonna get to some swinging. When we swing, the swing starts from the feet. Toes move first, the rest of the body follows. So, I'm gonna jump back up, back up on the rings. I'm here, I get a good grip, I hang. Now look at my feet. It's the feet that move. Small swings, nothing crazy, just back and forth. As we swing, notice my feet, they're together. They're not going apart, and I'm not bending my legs. That back swing, if I bend my legs, I lose that tension. So feet together, straight legs. The body will naturally arch into extension and then bow into flexion. That's your hollow body position. Now that you got the swing going, what I want you to do is I want you to look straight ahead. As you're looking straight ahead, I want you to see your toes come right in front of you. Don't let your toes pass eye level. I want them to be right there. When your feet are behind you, let them go wherever they want to go. But make sure that you relax the shoulder a little bit. Don't push down on the rings. Watch me as I swing. In the front, toes, eye level. In the back, Relax the shoulder, relax the shoulder. That relaxing of the shoulder is gonna allow the rings to slightly turn out and allow that arch to remain tight, stable, and you to have connection on the rings the whole time. So, practice swinging on the rings. It doesn't have to be very high, very crazy. It just has to be mechanically sound. Feet together, hanging long, good grip on the rings, let the body arch in the back, let the toes reach, I love in the front, and you will be golden.